Kennedy and Adam, and today we are in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we wanted to share some information with you if you plan to fly into or out of Piedmont Triad International Airport. Which has been helping people fly easy since October 9th, 1982. Since we're departing today and heading back to Colorado, let's talk about parking. They have long-term parking, which has a shuttle bus that runs 24 hours a day, every 10 to 20 minutes. Behind me, they have garage parking. And then right behind you, they have short-term parking, where you can park for up to two hours, and they have metered parking. We frequently travel with Betsy all over the place. And so one of the concerns for us is a pet relief area. This airport has four different places for pet relief. Right now, we're on the arrivals area. And on either side, they have a pet relief area and they have one behind the TSA security in each side of the concourse. For the ones that are inside, we need to work with security to get access to them. Let's walk inside and get ourselves checked in for our flight. For carriers, they have four different carriers that fly out of this airport. They've got United, they've got Delta, they've got American Airlines, and, and have Allegiant. There are nonstop flights on a daily basis to 14 different cities from this airport. And if you don't want to sit and wait at your gate, there is an observation area located outside in the main terminal where you can watch the planes coming and going. And there are 25 spots where they park the planes in the airport. There are three runways, and we think we're going to be flying out of the one on this side, which is the northwest side. As we walk to our gate, if you're interested in food, they have five different food options. Right next to us, we've got the PGA Grill, which is located in the main terminal. The Great American Bagel and Panini Company, which is currently closed, but it's in the main terminal. The American Cafe. And Starbucks, both located in the South Concourse. Coffee. They have the local at GSO in the North Concourse. But we're not there, so we couldn't get a shot. As you walk throughout the airport, you may notice these beautiful pieces on the wall. They have a total of 49 different artworks scattered throughout the airport. If you want more information about the artist, the art piece, or any other details about them, you can head to the website and learn more. If you like ancient technology and history, they've got some of these things. As I mentioned earlier, we are departing to Colorado, but if you are arriving at this airport, there are two levels departures upstairs, arrivals downstairs. And if for whatever reason you need to spend the night here, there's a Marriott that's across the street with 299 rooms. Our plane should be departing soon, but speaking of passengers, this airport serviced 1.25 million people last year. And last month alone, it serviced 135,000 people, which include people departing and arriving. We hope you enjoyed the tour of Piedmont Triad International Airport here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And speaking of tours, they have a guided 60 minute tour. You can go ahead and find more information about that on their website. In the comments below, please let us know what your favorite airport is. And maybe we'll tour in the future. All right, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also share it to anybody who's traveling here to Greensboro. It might help them out in their adventures. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Remember 311. All liquids, gels, and aerosols must be in three ounce or less size containers. Five million people, which including departing and Man, landing. Please, American Airlines patient for a Skycap American ticket count. Please refrain from smoking while walking throughout the building.